hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word be that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. I take authority over it now. I take authority over it now. Hear me? Hence God called you people to come out here. I decree and declare the grace called favor that rests upon people and rewrites their story. If you believe this, I impart that grace upon you. I impart that grace upon you. I impart that grace upon you. You will return a sign and a wonder in the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't be offended, but I'm repeating this last prophetic word I gave again. You are staying in the house of a rich man. In fact, it's not even a house he stays. It's like an extra house aside from his real house. And I don't know what goes on there. That is none of my business. But I know that there's someone that stays there. And you are not necessarily a prostitute. But what happens there is, in one word, is prostitution. I'm advising you by the Spirit of God. Get out of that place. Get out of that place. Your life is in danger. Hallelujah. Get out of that place, oh. Your life is in danger. In the name of Jesus. There's one of you, you have now. I, I don't, I'm saying this because this is church. You love the Lord with all your heart. And God has given you a good voice to sing. But somebody advised you that you should not mind church people. You should go and do secular music. And you are about to start. Hear what the Lord is telling you. Stop. You are going to be made to do a lot of things that will end up destroying your destiny. You can serve the Lord and he can bless your gift and still lift you. Did you hear what I'm saying? You serve the Lord. Just this role. There are two people the power of God is coming on. Please bring them out. This room. Bring them out. Why are they here? Pastors. From everywhere or where I, I ask. You are all pastors. Do you love Jesus? You know, hold on please. I don't waste my time praying for people as far as ministry is concerned honestly i love the body of christ but i found out that there are pastors who generally don't love god they just want to make it for that one i'll just pray that god will give you an idea so that you go and start something and take care of yourself and your family the work of ministry is beyond getting something to eat and i respect all of you for your diligence to come is a word god gave me oh, the people down i want to pray for you my first charge for you is go back and re-examine what you are doing in ministry. If you find out that there is an approach that is, is not of God, you don't need to feel bad. Get away and do authentic ministry. Loving Jesus, loving... And it's not just a word for them. Please hear me. Hold on, please. If you are a pastor here, let me encourage you. The work of the kingdom is not just a means for bread. It's not just that when you apply for federal government work, there's no work. You apply and then you just say let me get into ministry the bible says whose god is their belly if you answer the call of god in, in your life it should be that number one you love jesus genuinely number two you love his people if you love jesus and you don't love his people you will manipulate them are we together god will never trust you with people you do not love and if the goal is just fame there are many other ways to be famous you can write a book you can run and win Olympic. You can try Guinness Book of Records. There are many, many ways. But if it is the call to ministry, 
you must die to yourself hallelujah and there's a reason why god called you people out some of you are already doing i don't know what what level of i'm not calling all men of god just the ones from that overflow i don't know why it may be because of one person who loves god some of you need to correct some things some of you need to adjust some things some of you need to delete certain things they've told you this how money comes this your job is to serve jesus if god gives you only two members love them serve them with all your heart take away competition and don't try to use crowd just as the index for ministry yours is to serve god sincerely if you end up winning two people and those are the ones god sent to you you are by far more effective than the person god gave the anointing for 100 million and he won only 10 million hallelujah let me pray for you god brought you for a reason first let me cast out a spirit from one of you this is what i'm saying in the name of jesus don't be embarrassed my my dear people I decree and declare because I'm seeing something that looks like a black shadow. I decree and declare anyone that this thing has tied down that will not allow you to be effective in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, be free now. Mm. Be free now. Be free now. And then I impart grace on you. I impart grace on you. This gentleman wearing white, I'm praying for you, eh? Let the healing anointing. This is what the Lord is showing me. May that grace truly rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. There's one of you, you are receiving the grace of a teacher, a prophetic teacher. The word of God will open before you in a very strange way. And you will start having unusual understanding. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is a lady, you are a music, not a musician, I, I will call you a worshiper. But there is a teaching grace that is coming on that worship ministry. This is what God is telling me. A, you started in worship, but there is a teaching grace that God is releasing on that worship ministry. You will marvel and wonder at the way you begin to operate. You will have very superior spiritual understanding. Very superior spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to pray for someone. The prayer is not for you. It's for your loved one. I'm seeing in the spirit. Your, the leg of somebody swelling more than the other one. This is the condition. I don't know if this thing has to do with liver. But I'm seeing so, somebody's leg. I want... You can come and stand in for that person. I want to pray quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. If there's someone like that, very quickly, please. Very quickly. Please make sure you understand what I'm saying. the glory of God is in this place the glory of God is in this place you know that thing they say somebody match up have you heard those kind of things that they say I don't have I, I don't know whether I believe it or not I just know that if it's wrong it will be corrected but this is the kind of thing that happened to someone and the leg just started swelling swelling Huh? I'm going to, I've not prayed for the sick yet. We're going to pray. 19 years you've been a graduate. No job. I just saw this. 19 years. Exactly 19 years as a graduate. No job. Who is that person? I want to use you as a point of contact and release jobs. Honestly, for anybody who believes that this is your year. When I'm praying for that person, make sure you receive it. Where is that person? 19, 1, 9. This is what God is revealing to me. Meanwhile, let me pray for these people. All of you are coming out for people whose legs have a problem. Where? 
let me talk to one or two of you is it your own leg my mother-in-law's leg from Cameroon. Your mother-in-law? From Cameroon. You came from Cameroon? Yes. What of this woman? I came from Togo, my leg. Your own leg? Yes. Oh, I see. Look at that. Even my hands. They what said, happened to you? They said I matched something. They threw an arrow. I don't know. You matched something? That's what they said. It started scratching me and it just become... It's can, can you see? It's no, no, no. That, that's all right, madam. You don't have to lift. Here. Don't worry. Your feet is okay. Eh? We can see what is there. How long has this been? It's now, for God's now. sake, ladies and gentlemen, you look at this. You came from Togo. Togo. Yes, sir. Let me see the leg, just that part. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Are you seeing this? How did this start? Huh? Just like scratching me. How, when was this? That was like seven months ago. It's just like, it was just like a little thing. As I scratched Who is this one? What happened to you? It's swelling up and they say it's a kidney disease for two years. It's, it's all right. I'm going to pray for you. And this is this is your condition. It's small and it's spreading and it's like it's coming. No, it's just moving. I feel some sensation. I'm moving. going to pray for you. Your loved ones, all of you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. I've not even started praying for the sick. This is just one condition. You see, every time people come to the house of God, they are not coming to joke. They have real problems. Some of these people, you don't pray over this. That's how it will start growing. One day they will say they will cut the whole leg. You see how it is now? What's that? Whose photo are you holding? Her leg? Yes, sir. What happened to her? What's that? It's, it has been reoccurring since 2021. I can't it even say it. I don't know what. Okay. It decayed. What is it? I don't know how to call it, but it has been occurring since I grew up. I grew up to meet it. It has been reoccurring since 2021. It's decay. It was bringing out my God. And she's alive? Yes, sir. And her leg is bringing out my God. Every high thing must come. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the fittest one. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You hold the crown. There used to be. There used to be one of these our precious ladies. I just can't remember. I prayed for her. I remember during school of ministry. I think it was her dad's leg that was rotting. I wish I could get the lady. I can't remember her name now. She should be somewhere here. Where is she? You are the one. Come. You have the photo. You don't have it, eh? Bring it. I want to show you something about the power of God. Please bring it. Your life must change, oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this dear Cameroonian woman now. Something just starts scratching your leg. And then before you know it, do you know, thank God for what God is doing in the medical field now. That many doctors and paramedics are already, they are knowing the difference between what is purely medical and what is demonic. While not violating the ethics of their profession, sometimes they call you personally and say, listen, I'm not just a doctor, I'm a Christian. This thing, go and look for a man of God. Because this one, oh, you will swallow anything, you will swallow and it will still destroy you. Imagine if this dear woman did not come now. And for those of you who are now standing for your parents, look at this, my dear lady. That her mother's leg, how can somebody be alive and my God come out of their legs? The only occasion like that in the Bible was Herod. That he died and my God came out of his body. Are we together now? How do you, you are alive and my God are coming out of your body? Kai. When it's time to pray for the sick, please open up your heart to receive. Are we together now? I'll soon start praying for the sick for a few minutes. I want to take time to pray. God gave the grace so that you will live long. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is your mother, my dear, this lady? Okay, come. Please, let, let me have that lady. I want to show you something. Come, let her come. 
please show us the picture before don't be embarrassed there eh? look at this this was the picture before please show it to us i want you to see something huh look at this that was huh that was the first day huh okay next person are you watching media help us now let's look at this sorry for being graphic but i just needed to see this look at this look at the leg this is a human leg another one watch this if it's not working no problem i think people would have seen it okay are you seeing this now show us the leg yes after the prayer show us what happened go ahead go ahead watch this yes look at the improvement media show us look at this this was the initial stages of the improvement show us what it is now that was thank you very much i just wanted to show you this to encourage you witchcraft is real this was her father this man's leg was rotting like this my this dear lady now i'm saying that because i want to pray for you place your hand on your chest or any point of contact and i want you to believe jesus remember what i taught you the ministry of the spirit and the working of miracles it comes by the hearing of faith and if you are standing in the congregation for someone you can release your faith for them in the name of jesus christ i'm praying right now for those of you in front my god the power of god is going to rest on some of you in a very mighty way father for these people and their loved ones every curse every charm every enchantment that is responsible for the rotting of the legs or any parts of the body in the name of jesus right now by the blood of the eternal covenant every legal access satan has over you or your family let it be broken now let it be broken now let it be broken now my dear sister because you showed me your own huh let me pray for you i decree and declare now i'm stretching my hands towards you what's your name sonia elijah sonia from cameroon from togo togo i'm praying for everybody but i want to pray for you, Thank you that you will return back Amen. and you'll come and testify Amen. In the name that is above all names, Sonia, we declare your leg will not be amputated. Amen. I cast that devil from the root. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And for many of you, just like you saw that lady's father, I decree and declare from this night, let there be a divine reversal. A divine reversal. A divine reversal. In the name of Jesus Christ before you leave there are three of you the power of god is coming on you this one now is for you it's not your par your parents or your loved ones this one is a miracle god is doing in your own life three of you three of you god is doing that miracle in your own life i hope you are not tired koinonia in the name of jesus i decree and declare return back what's wrong with you my friend like that my parent can't even explain how it started my uh, my name so, oh i can see your legs are swollen yes sir. and your eye too yes sir. my god don't be embarrassed eh? this is a family of faith it's a miracle service father mercy on this gentleman whatever this medical condition is right now i stretch my hands let there be a miracle for you you will not lose your eye in the name of Jesus God bless you please return back to your seat everyone 
Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick now. I'm about to pray for the sick. We have to hurry up now. If you came here with someone who is sick or you are sick yourself, listen please. I want you to lay your hands right now. But the Lord is speaking to me. If you have any heart condition, please listen. Heart condition. I want you to come out. The remaining people, you can just lay your hands. I'm only asking for people with heart conditions that has been medically verified. Not pain in the chest. Heart condition. Please come. For the remaining people, lay your hands everywhere. All the overflows, Koinonia Global. I want to pray for you now. I want to pray for you now. I want to pray for you now. Heart condition. Heart condition. Medically verified. Tokata lakata. E preketo shaparakoto makata parato shoto prekete rekete kete kete. Lord, lift me spiritually. A new dimension of the anointing. A new dimension of fire. A new operation of the gift of the spirit. A new dimension of utterance. Access to deeper revelation. The lifter of men. Arabos kabarada balaka tabariada balara ba. Shaka taka 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 ta. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying. Psalm seventy-one. Verse 21. Psalm 71. Verse 21. Please let's keep praying. Psalm 71. I like us to read together. One to read. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Listen. Don't just comfort me spiritually and leave me suffering financially. Don't just comfort me academically. Lord, increase my greatness. Comfort me on every side. Open your mouth and pray. Comfort me on every side. Comfort me on every side. Increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Increase my influence. Increase my impact. Increase koinonia. Increase the fire. Increase the resource. Increase the testimonies. Increase the salvation. Thou shall increase my greatness. And comfort me. And comfort me. Apashabarakatos. Pray. Thou shall increase my greatness. Thou shall increase my greatness. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. I want you to mention the areas where you have not yet been comforted. Lord, thank you. By God's grace, my prayer life is okay. But Lord, my finances. Or by God's grace, my finances is okay. But Lord, my ministry, my life. Don't keep quiet. Open your mouth and speak to the Lord. Lord, let your comfort, let your grace. Believers, talk to the Lord. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Arise, O God. Arise, O God. 
Comfort me. Comfort me on every side. 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 Leketesh kabarakato sabaya. Comfort me. Pray for your academics. Pray for your marriage. Pray for your fruitfulness. Pray for your finances. Pray for your ministry. Pray for your spiritual life. Comfort me, O oh God. O oh God of heaven, arise. Comfort me in this season. You are the lifter of men. Hallelujah. John 17 verse 1. John 17. Please be serious. Some of us are not praying. You are just looking around. It's time to pray. We are activating this thing in our lives. John chapter 17 verse 1. This word spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is what? Talk to me please. The hour is Lord, not tomorrow. If you reveal it, then the hour has come. Father, the hour has come. Father, the hour has come. The hour for my lifting. The hour for my glorification. Lift your voice and pray. The hour has come to change my story. The hour has come for a harvest. I decree and declare the hour has come to silence the forces of darkness. The hour has come to lift me like a trophy. The hour has come for the helpers to appear. The hour has come for the good news to go far. Hallelujah. 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 He said the hour has come. Then he says glorify. Glorify now Joshua Selman. That he may bring glory to you. Listen. Listen. I want you to pray a very honest prayer. And say father honor me. Let your honor in this season come upon my life and let it be evident to all. Lift your voice. Don't let the devil tell you you are, you are asking for nonsense. Everyone that asketh, receive it. Pray. Lord, your honor. I vow that you will be glorified. In lifting me, you will be glorified. Honor my family. Honor, honor my destiny. Honor my finances. Take away shame. Take away reproach. Take away shame. Take away reproach. Take away shame. Take away reproach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are praying. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray that every force, every power that is standing between Mordecai and the king, that Haman that is waiting at the court while God is preparing to bless you. The, listen, listen, listen. Look at this. Just when God was going to lift Mordecai, Haman too was at the court. They were all in the place. The lift and the destroyer, all in the same place. It's up to you to clear off the destroyer. Open your mouth and decree and declare. My enemies will not reach my helpers. In the name of Jesus, 
no evil report. The counsel of Ahitophel will not stop my lifters. I decree it. I declare it. I decree it. I declare it. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to pray for our families. I don't know about you, but let me tell you something. Because of the times I've had to counsel people, truly speaking, personally, I'm tired of what Satan is doing in families. It's, it's too bad. Satan is corrupting the testimony of righteousness. You will hear that someone is serving God, doing well. But the devil will rubbish every other person in his family. Are you ready to pray? I'd like you to take on your priestly position and prophesy lifting to every one of your family members. Mention them by name. I prophesy lifting in the name of Jesus. Prophesy to your wife. Prophesy to your husband. Prophesy to your children. Prophesy to your siblings. Lord, take away shame. That proverb, Ichabod, let it no longer be used in my family. This proverb will no longer be used. In the name of Jesus Christ. This proverb will no longer be used. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray. This proverb will no longer be used. It will no longer be Ichabod. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will now be Beulah. It will be Hepzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray the last prayer point and then I'll pray for you. Listen. There is a kind of anointing that can lift you above your fellows. It says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, not another person's God has anointed you not informed you, anointed you with an oil of gladness that makes you above Shabalakatoya above there is a grace that makes you above, listen Joseph was a slave they bought him, in ancient times they would pay for you as soon as he entered Potiphar's house there were many other slaves. They all had mothers too. But there was a grace. And the identity, even in the prison, lifted him. We are going to pray. And say, Lord, the grace that makes me noticeable. The grace that stands me out. Listen, listen. Until you are noticed. Not in a negative way. You can be doing good things. But the eyes that can discern you to bless you has not yet seen you. Lord, the grace that stands me out so that my helpers can see me, I cry for it to come upon me tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Let that grace come, O oh God. Shabakato soto barada daba la barada daba. Change my life. 
change my ministry. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land. A higher place than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on high. Sing it one more time. Lord, lift me up. And let me stand by faith on heaven to save a land. Is Saul also among the prophets? When did he get there? Who lifted him? In Zaria, lifted from there, who lifted you? When I know your father is not alive, when I know your mother is not alive, who advocated for you? And you will say the lifter of men. The lifter of men. I know him. I know him. I know him. Listen. Listen. You see, truly, brothers and sisters, let me tell you this. I don't mean to be boastful. But my life is a testimony that God can lift men. When you look at my life, the equations don't add up. But for God. God can come and meet you and say, Son, daughter, I have chosen. And you say, Lord, I don't qualify. So that's the point. I want to lift you. I want to lift your family. And he said, Lord, should I tell my poor mother that right now he's at home praying for 5,000 naira? And God will tell you she will not be like that in death. God has beautified my life. God has brought me honor and glory. God has done things in my life today that no matter how silent I want to become, I am broken and forced to go down on my knees. The prayer department prayed on Tuesday and their entire prayer was for the favor of God. Listen, listen, listen. When you see God revealing something, it is because that is what He wants to do in this season. God sees my heart and God knows how I have prayed that this grace will come on everybody if possible. God can lift you. There is space for everybody. It is not God's will for one person or a few people to rise there when others still are there struggling financially, struggling in, in an area. No. No. God can lift everybody together and still be glorified. 
He has already captured your heart. So there is no point being afraid. The blessings will not kill you. There is nothing God has put in my life today that can take his place. So don't let anybody lie to you. Oh, I'm afraid if you rise, you will not love God. It's a lie. It is not his blessings that take his place in your life. It is carnality. Are we together? I'm praying now. Standing here, listen, are many people, some of you as you are standing here, you represent families that are desperately, you don't need breakthrough, you need lifting. Lifting takes you out of the realm. Breakthrough, you are still there. It's just that you prosper in that realm. Lifting takes you out of that realm. In a way that you are looked at like the Hebrew boys were lifted out of fire. And you would never know they were once there. Like Daniel was lifted out of the pit. Like Jesus was resurrected out of the grave. Like Joseph was taken out of the dungeon. That's not breakthrough. That's lifting. I believe in Jesus. I believe in his power. And I believe that in this season, that which he has shown me, it is my prayer. I can't assume everybody wants to be lifted because there are believers who are very careless. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God. It says, so shall you be established. He said, believe in his prophets. So shall you prosper. There is a dimension of lifting that if you open up your heart and receive, brothers and sisters, let me tell you, my God, this is, no, no, this is not your God. My God will surprise you and do something in your life. I'm not asking you whether you are walking. No, there, there are sermons that I will ask you, are you walking? Let me bless the work of your hands. That's not what I'm doing today. It has nothing to do with whether you are walking. Listen, it has nothing to do with whether you are in school or not. It has nothing to do with which village. There are times that I can say, oh, lift your certificate. I teach value. I don't teach irresponsibility. But this one is not just principles. God has chosen. It's a choice. The king said, what shall be done? Did you mean? What shall be done? I look at my life today and I look at certain things God has done. And I say, if I walk this thing by my way, for God's sake, who is who is who, who dash monkey banana? Where will it come from? Only a man who has tasted of something can release something to you. Nobody can give what he doesn't have. Please hear me, family of God. I want you to believe in this prayer I'm about to pray. It's not by kneeling down, it's by opening your heart to believe and say, Lord, I know there is a realm. There is a dimension where you can lift men. And if you have revealed this, oh God, please let it happen to me. Are we together? I'm about to pray for you. My beautifier, sing that song once, twice for me, sir. My beautifier, you have taken away the shame. Taking away the pain You make my life so beautiful My beautifier You have taken away the Taking away the My beautifier You have taken away Taking away the pain
I pray for you that the God the God who met me as a total nobody and by his finger I am a testimony of the mercies of God of the grace of God I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus by the spirit of prophecy that is upon me tonight I decree and declare that the grace for sudden lifting sudden lifting the word is sudden sudden lifting in the name of Jesus Christ may that grace come upon you right now sudden lifting sudden lifting in ministry, sudden lifting. In ministry, sudden lifting. In business, sudden lifting. In your finances, I command sudden lifting. Inexplainable lifting. Strange lifting in the name of Jesus. In your spiritual life, the dimensions of anointing that you have never seen in the name of Jesus as I stretch my hands may those dimensions be activated now be activated now whether it is the prophetic whether it is the apostolic whether it is the healing dimension whether it is visions whether it is dreams I command an activation of those dimensions now I pray for you the grace for speed I tell you th there is an anointing that is about to push you is a force to move you to the next seasons of your life I release that grace upon you now whether you are inside overflow one overflow two overflow three online I prophesy May that grace move you to the next dimension of your life. May that grace move you to the next dimension. I want to pray for supernatural finances. Listen. There is wealth that is gotten by exchanging for value. There is wealth that is gotten by being rewarded for transforming people. But there is the suffering dimension of wealth. Wealth by the mouth of God. Are we together? There is, do your business, do whatever it is that you are doing. Impact lives. Tomorrow someone will bless you. But this dimension of wealth many of you have had testimonies don't sit down and be watching people it does not discriminate it's a grace it doesn't discriminate anything I want to pray because the truth of the matter honestly for many of us here the major areas of concern is finance by the grace of God and by the, the privilege of His hand, I know the quality of the training that you are receiving here. And I testify for many of us that we love God. I'm not in doubt of your love for God. I know that many of us serve God with all our heart. Are we together? But brothers and sisters, what good is it when you serve God with your whole life and you cannot pay the school fees of your children? and you sit down i spoke with a dear lady who almost brought tears out of my eyes she had gotten admission five times born again wasn't living a wayward life no sleeping around no nothing five times but just because of a meager amount of a school fees nobody could help her that's how that admission kept kept going that lady her colleagues are graduates now and the lady is there and you know we in church 
we will look at that lady now if she goes to enter a lifestyle somewhere and starts maybe doing some things that she should not do it's easy to point fingers and say you are a stupid girl never condemn people if you cannot supply the alternative are we together when that lady spoke to me tears almost came out of my eyes i said what if this was my biological daughter five years her colleagues were now rounding up and that poor girl imagine the stigmatization on her reputation and she loves god imagine who god is to that lady she will carry five admission letters and put and read the scripture that says i was young now i am old and say god it doesn't add up and she will come to us men of god and say don't worry just focus on your spiritual life no sir no sir no sir everything but that, that pertains on to life and godliness not godliness alone life i know that many of us here right now is financial issues and let me tell you i will be wicked as a man of god you've heard me say this we're rounding up i have food in my house but do you a good shepherd lays down his life are we together i have a vehicle that would take me home i can put on a generator when there is no light and be worshiping god all through the night can you a good shepherd is not comfortable in his own blessing alone until you are blessed i am a failure it doesn't matter who does what if people are calling me and sending seeds into my life my account if that is not happening to you then i should not rest i don't want to make the mistake of esther she went to the palace and forgot she was once a villager and allowed the jews to be suffering and did not know that god took her there for such a time Mordecai said, don't you think? Continue to enjoy in the palace and leave us suffering. Don't you think that when they are done with us, they will not come for you? I have to pray for you. I counsel people all the time. After service now, I'm going to be waiting for hours and hours. Talking to people. Families that have no business divorcing. But the devil use financial issues. Some of you right now, some of you may be students, but you are fending for yourself. And yet we have the gods to tell you, don't follow any man. Don't follow any woman. No sugar mommy. No sugar daddy. No sugar everything. Yet we don't have the grace to pray that God will open up doors for you. No, we must fear God. We must stop misrepresenting God. I will be very vocal about your welfare. And let me tell you, until God blesses you, I will not rest. I don't only want you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I don't just want you to have mysteries you cannot demonstrate with your life. And you keep pride in mysteries, mysteries. No. I want those who don't have jobs to have jobs. You can still serve God with a job. I want people who... I mean, there has to be an evidence. Hallelujah. There are many of our precious people now. So many weddings on the line. And I have the privilege to counsel all those people. And sometimes I look at them and I know that they need a miracle and they need one fast. They need the lifting of God. Imagine this, our little children right now. We have so many children in this ministry who love God with their heart and are passionate. But simply because in the whole family, nobody is lifted. Look how wicked Satan can be. A family of 25 people all loving God but there's nobody they live from hand to mouth if they eat on Monday they are not sure what to come on Tuesday and yet I can leave food in my house and a nice car with an with AC outside and be wearing a nice cloth and have the effrontery to forget about you I fear God more than that if it was good and God gave it to me then it's good for you too are we together if God put something in my hand and he didn't take my heart from him then he can put something in your heart there are some of you we cannot even come and visit you because your condition you will get into debt to try to refresh us and it's not good just because of the honor you have you will go somewhere and borrow money just to honor the man of god you want to go and pray the needs arise 
there are house rent issues right now there are school fees issues right now and then the devil comes with a somebody with an option you would think you will not say yes until the pressure squeezes you lift your hands in the name of jesus christ my god and my king i have cried to you in the secret i pray in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god you have told me every time i pray you hear me i cry to you from the depth of my spirit lift everyone here financially in the name of jesus christ i prophesy from the depth of my spirit that the hand of god that can change someone's financial destiny overnight may that hand come upon your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ the lord has beautified my life i pray for you everything that looks like shame you, you, you see me you see me shedding tears My God, I pray. I pray for every single one here. Lord, it is true that you can lift men. I cry unto you, O oh God. I cry unto you, O oh God. Please lift everybody here financially in the name of Jesus. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My sacrifice. It's calling it's you, oh God, take my praise, oh God, take my praise, hallelujah, I'm still praying, forget about my crying, my tears are also praying for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray there are spiritual dimensions that you brought me into, not because of my prayer life, not because of fasting. Your hand came upon me and you lifted me. Lord, I bow my knees to you now. May that portal in the spirit that is opened over men. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Drink of that wine. Drink of that wine. Inside overflow one, overflow two, overflow three, online. Let that fire that He put upon my life, 
let the eyes of the eagle, the eyes that see, she get to go sort of a rakatos. The patients were rounding up. Let there be a strange lifting in your spiritual life. Fresh anointing to heal. Fresh grace to prophesy. Restoration of dreams. Visions. Dimensions in the spirit. Everyone here trusting God for the lifting in the area of job and career. I cry to my God and I pray that between now and the end of May, let there be a strange testimony in your life. Let there be a strange testimony in your life. I pray for every business represented here. I decree and declare whatever has kept it at the same level in the name of Jesus Christ. May the God of heaven arise and grant that business supernatural speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every family represented here. Whatever represents shame, whatever represents reproach, I bow my knees to my Father and my God, and I decree and declare, may that reproach be rolled away like a curtain. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all final year students, and all the institutions that are writing exams were rounding up i stretch my hands for those in probation third class two two by this grace of lifting i shoot you to a new level in the name of jesus Christ let me start with those who have lost things you have lost things in the name that is above all names I'm praying now here at Koinonia by the power that raised Christ from the dead from Abuja to Zaria to UK to US to Canada across Africa Koinonia global and indeed the body of Christ I stand by the privilege of the election of grace and I decree and declare let there be a restoration now 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 for the last one month 
this prayer point has not left my spirit joel chapter 2 some of you have lost all kinds of things everything to be lost has left you you have lost opportunities you have lost relationships you have lost joy you have lost strategic resources it's time to have it back joel 2 25 and i will restore to you the years and i will restore to you the years god can restore time did you hear what i said god can restore time i will restore to you the years if god cannot restore time then he's not greater than time if it is he is greater and higher than the realm of time then he must sustain the ability to restore time jeremiah 30 and verse 17 please give it to us quickly we are praying someone's life is changing for i will restore health unto you those failing organs those failing body parts you are just 20 30 and yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things it's time to be angry god does not just restore time god restores health and vitality psalm 41 1 to 3 blessed is the man that considereth the poor the lord will deliver him in time of trouble verse 2 the lord will preserve him and keep him alive he says and he shall be blessed upon the earth he says thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies shout verse 3 together the lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing and i will make all his bed in sickness God will not allow him to die, not allow him to deplete and famish. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory, he says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you and then settle you say it again make you perfect establish you strengthen you and then settle you say father i decree i declare divine restoration of opportunities of relationships of resources of men of my joy now open your mouth and pray restoration 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 Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabaka Paros. Rakata Braskata Vaskabash. Ratakata Braskata Balakos. Rakata Brantakabash. Ebrakatos Koto Prekatelis. Restoration. Cry restoration. Cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many as much as he had before the Lord turned his captivity but he did not stop there God restored by giving twice 
Coming from afar events that don't have an explanation from losses financial depletions the death of loved ones the loss of relationships closed doors in the name of Jesus the spirit that is behind it I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic I decree and declare that spirit gives way now that spirit gives way now that spirit gives way now. Every mark upon your head, you may not see it, but it keeps calling tragedies to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the eternal covenant, I wipe that mark from your face now. I wipe that mark from your destiny now. Hear me. Everyone you have lost favor with, lost touch with, 
in this place tonight by the mercy of God I command restoration I command reconnection I command restoration I command reconnection in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now I want to pray specifically for those who are in any kind of financial trouble I've owed people before I know what it means the, 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 the pain only God can explain what it takes to not be able to have a sound sleep because there are bills you are owing whether institutionally whether corporately whether personally none of them is profitable I pray for you the same grace that brought the axe head from the waters in the name of Jesus every financial situation you have gotten into that is leaving you now with shame and embarrassment by the power that raised Christ from the dead come out of that situation come out of that situation by the ministry of men come out of that situation by the ministry of favor come out of that situation by the ministry of wisdom come out of that situation by the ministry of mercy come out of that situation in the name of Jesus Christ for those who have lost time delay has happened in your life and the truth is that time has gone even if the constraint were taken away from your life it will take grace for you to catch up I pray for you there is speed and there is restoration these are the two mysteries that help men to redeem time the Bible says redeeming the time because the days are evil and there are two spiritual forces allocated for time redemption one is called speed another is called restoration when God wants to help you you will experience both restoration brings yesterday into tomorrow speed moves you further into your tomorrow I pray for you by the force of speed and the force of restoration may time be redeemed now may time be recovered now by the forces of speed and the forces of restoration may time be redeemed now everyone here who is under any curse any diabolic manifestation the scourging tongues of men according to Job chapter 5 one of the six things that he says God will deliver us from anyone who is a victim of that I pray for you here at Koinonia in the name of Jesus be delivered from any and all evil be delivered from any and all evil now hear me some of you perhaps what you are going through is because of the pain that you cause for others maybe in your time of ignorance and you cause pain for maybe your parents or you cause pain for a man of God and in their pain or some woman some intercessor and some of them in their pain they hit their chest and made declarations to the heaven that you will not prosper some of them have died today some of them have gone away you need help I stand by the advantage of priesthood everybody who has spoken negatively maybe your biological parents maybe a man of God you ignored maybe somebody that you cause pain in their life in their family I call upon the God of all grace and mercy this night let that curse come to an end over your life let that curse come to an end over your life where they said you will die I prophesy leave where they said you will fail I prophesy go and excel where they said your children would do the same negative thing I midwife by prophecy may your children be Beulah and Hephzibah in the name of Jesus Christ that out of their pain they said it will never be well with you I call upon the God of mercy because today you are the righteous I say to you it shall be well Hezekiah where Isaiah has told you the sickness is unto death I stand in the name of Jesus Christ as an able minister of the New Testament and I pray for you live long and fulfill your days live long and fulfill your days 
let me prophesy to Ruth you've lost your husband lost your children and you have said do not call me all that name call me Mara it is bitter call me all of that and Naomi has tried to comfort you oh Ruth hear the word of the Lord there is still the second phase of your life you are yet to meet Boaz. You are yet to become part of the lineage of Jesus. Therefore, by prophecy, I open up the new season of your life. Gideon, you may be the weakest and your father's house the weakest. But in the name of Jesus, I speak to you like the angel spoke to Gideon. From tonight, go in this your might. Hallelujah. You may be like Mary and Martha. Martha said if you had come earlier, he would, have, he would not have died. But I like what she said. Even now, even now, even now. It didn't happen in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. But even now, I decree and declare, may your eyes see your desire before December. Please hear me. Every grace that God has deposited in this house that is not yet speaking in your life, I release my faith one more time. In the name of Jesus, perhaps through dishonor, perhaps through carelessness, lack of discernment, all of these things that I mentioned, you are not having it work in your life. I agree with you by faith and we stand together as a noble family of faith. I declare, may this grace rest on your life. May this grace rest on your life. Hallelujah. When Sarah bore Isaac, she named him laughter. And she said that God has made me to laugh. And all who hear me will laugh with me. I decree and declare by this prophetic word, let crying, mourning, weeping come to an end. Because the Bible says, weeping may endure for the night but it says joy comes with the morning and the bible says he called the light day and the darkness he called night that means when light comes it is your day now that light has come i command the night to cease oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. From afar, coming from afar.
from afar. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh, The Bible says, what thing soever ye desire, what thing soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shalt have it how could i lead a ministry like this without the favor of god this is the, there are many of you having high blood pressure today I'm, I'm not trying to insult you forgive me but it's true if God does not show you favor, life is hard, unbearably hard. Where will the finances come from? Even if you have money, where will the access come from? Do you know what it means for gatekeepers to open their hearts over you? It has to be God. In one minute, I'd like you to pray, Father, may, may favor come upon my life may favor come upon my life difficult things become easy when the grace called favor is upon you ye have not because ye ask not 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 now in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I stand by this apostolic and prophetic office by the privilege of the election of grace and I stretch my hands first over you here in Abuja our family in Zaria those following from around the globe from America to Europe to Asia the Caribbeans as many as are following and will follow in the name of Jesus, the one who has shown us mercy, I decree and declare right now, receive ye this grace called favor. Receive ye this grace called favor. I place this mantle upon your life. Take this grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the morning, experience favor. In the afternoon, experience favor. In the night, experience favor. In Nigeria, experience favor. In America, experience favor. In Europe, experience favor. Every door that needs favor for, to be open. I declare may favor open that door now hear me every strategic relationship you have lost through carelessness and lack of discernment I call on my God who is also your God let there be a supernatural reconnection now Dishonor has shut that was once open and dishonor shut it by the mercy of the God of David. We reopen that door now. And in the name of Jesus, many of you are gifted, but the favor to announce you is not there. You are so gifted, gifted to a point that is institutions that should be patronizing your gift. In the name of Jesus, by the paparakatos katapakatabarukotobasiata, 
in the name of Jesus Christ I give your gift visibility now by this gift let those who have the capacity to both discern and reward you may they find you in the name of Jesus hear me in this new season of your life every relationship you need to connect with some of you may not know them international relationships ministerial relationships I declare may that connection happen for you now everyone anointed commissioned and ordained to find you and hold your hand in this season wherever they are I stand by the prophetic I call them into your life now hear me I stand under the corporate grace of the fathers of faith who have transferred these graces to us and under this corporate anointing I declare in the name of Jesus as a contribution of this supply to the body of Christ find the grace for favor by this grace shame reproach hear ye the word of the Lord let God's people go now hear me by this grace upon you whoever has forgotten you no matter how long in the name of Jesus by favor may the book of remembrance be opened over you now even Pharaoh who hated Israel with passion was the one who ended up giving them gold and everything they used to build the tabernacle in the wilderness can I tell you this when favor comes upon you it's not only friends that bless you anybody directed by God I pray for you whoever must bring forth their credibility their time their resources their endorsement to shift you to the next level I call them forth by prophecy now now I'm praying for the body of Christ but now let me pray for the koinonia global family you belong to a family that is mysteriously favored of God I pray for you in the name of Jesus out of the abundance by reason of this prophetic connection step into superior realms of favor by this favor may your life be a fearful one that fest to you and then to everyone around you in the name of Jesus Christ from the dead from Abuja to Zaria to UK to US to Canada across Africa koinonia global and indeed the body of Christ I stand by the privilege of the election of grace and I decree and declare let there be a restoration now 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 let there be a restoration now. Let there be a restoration now. Let there be a restoration now. For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years. And I will restore to you the years 
God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years. If God cannot restore time, then he is not greater than time. If it is, he is greater and higher than the realm of time, then he must sustain the ability to restore time. Jeremiah 30 and verse 17. Please give it to us quickly. We are praying. Someone's life is changing. For I will restore health unto you. Those failing organs. Those failing body parts. You are just 20, 30. And yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things. It's time to be angry. God does not just restore time. God restores health and vitality. Psalm 41, 1 to 3. Blessed is the man that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He says, and he shall be blessed upon the earth. He says, thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. Shout verse 3 together. The Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing. And I will make all his bed in sickness. God will not allow him to die, not allow him to deplete and famish. First Peter 5 and verse 10. I like this one. God is restoring. But the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory, he says, after that ye have suffered a while, what does he do? Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and then settle you. Say it again. Make you perfect, establish you, strengthen you, and then settle you. Say, Father, I decree, I declare divine restoration of opportunities, of relationships, of resources, of men, of my joy. Now, open your mouth and pray. Restoration. 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 Rakatas Kotobros, Abrakatabalaka Fraskatabalaka, Restoration, 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 Restoration. Restoration, restore joy, restore years, restore things, restore men, restore resources. Shabaka paros, rakata fraskata fraskabash, rakata fraskata balakos, rakata branta kabash, abrakatos koto prekatelis. Restoration. Cry restoration. Cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity, but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spirit 
And I see a mighty army rising. Yes, I know they're rising in the thousands, coming from afar, coming from afar. Coming from afar events that don't have an explanation from losses financial depletions the death of loved ones the loss of relationships closed doors in the name of Jesus the spirit that is behind it I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic I decree and declare that spirit gives way now that spirit gives way now that spirit gives way now. Every mark upon your head, you may not see it, but it keeps calling tragedies to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the blood of the eternal covenant, I wipe that mark from your face now. I wipe that mark from your destiny now. Hear me. Everyone you have lost favor with, lost touch with, in this place tonight, by the mercy of God, I command restoration. I command reconnection. I command restoration. I command reconnection in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray specifically for those who are in any kind of financial trouble. I've owed people before. I know what it means. The, 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 the pain only God can explain 
what it takes to not be able to have a sound sleep because there are bills you are owing whether institutionally whether corporately whether personally none of them is profitable i pray for you the same grace that brought the axe head from the waters in the name of jesus every financial situation you have gotten into that is leaving you now with shame and embarrassment by the power that raised christ from the dead come out of that situation come out of that situation by the ministry of men come out of that situation by the ministry of favor come out of that situation by the ministry of wisdom come out of that situation by the ministry of mercy come out of that situation in the name of Jesus Christ for those who have lost time delay has happened in your life and the truth is that time has gone even if the constraint were taken away from your life it will take grace for you to catch up I pray for you there is speed and there is restoration these are the two mysteries that help men to redeem time the Bible says redeeming the time because the days are evil and there are two spiritual forces allocated for time redemption one is called speed another is called restoration when God wants to help you you will experience both restoration brings yesterday into tomorrow speed moves you further into your tomorrow I pray for you by the force of speed and the force of restoration may time be redeemed now may time be recovered now by the forces of speed and the forces of restoration may time be redeemed now everyone here who is under any curse any diabolic manifestation the scourging tongues of men according to Job chapter 5 one of the six things that he says God will deliver us from anyone who is a victim of that I pray for you here at Koinonia in the name of Jesus be delivered from any and all evil be delivered from any and all evil now hear me some of you perhaps what you are going through is because of the pain that you cause for others maybe in your time of ignorance and you cause pain for maybe your parents or you cause pain for a man of God and in their pain or some woman some intercessor and some of them in their pain they hit their chest and made declarations to the heaven that you will not prosper some of them have died today some of them have gone away you need help I stand by the advantage of priesthood everybody who has spoken negatively maybe your biological parents maybe a man of God you ignored maybe somebody that you cause pain in their life in their family I call upon the God of all grace and mercy this night let that curse come to an end over your life let that curse come to an end over your life where they said you will die I prophesy leave where they said you will fail I prophesy go and excel where they said your children would do the same negative thing I need wife by prophecy may your children be Beulah and Hephzibah in the name of Jesus Christ that out of their pain they said it will never be well with you I call upon the God of mercy because today you are the righteous I say to you it shall be well Hezekiah where Isaiah has told you the sickness is unto death I stand in the name of Jesus Christ as an able minister of the New Testament and I pray for you live long and fulfill your days live long and fulfill your days let me prophesy to Ruth you've lost your husband lost your children and you have said do not call me all that name call me Mara it is bitter call me all of that and Naomi has tried to comfort you oh Ruth hear the word of the Lord there is still the second phase of your life you are yet to meet Boaz. You are yet to become part of the lineage of Jesus. Therefore, by prophecy, I open up the new season of your life. Gideon, you 
you may be the weakest and your father's house the weakest but in the name of Jesus I speak to you like the angel spoke to Gideon from tonight go in this your might yeah. hallelujah you may be like Mary and Martha Martha said if you had come earlier he would have he would not have died but I like what she said even now even now even now it didn't happen in 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 but even now I decree and declare may your eyes see your desire before December please hear me every grace that God has deposited in this house that is not yet speaking in your life I release my faith one more time in the name of Jesus perhaps through dishonor perhaps through carelessness lack of discernment all of these things that I mentioned you are not having it work in your life I agree with you by faith and we stand together as a noble family of faith I declare may this grace rest on your life may this grace rest on your life hallelujah when Sarah bore Isaac she named him laughter and she said that God has made me to laugh and all who hear me will laugh with me I decree and declare by this prophetic word let crying mourning weeping come to an end because the Bible says weeping may endure for the night but it says joy comes with the morning and the Bible says he called the light day and the darkness he called night that means when light comes it is your day now that light has come I command the night to cease oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. From afar, coming from afar.
from afar. Oh, oh, oh. 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 The Bible says, what thing soever ye desire, what thing soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it, and thou shalt have it. How could I lead a ministry like this without the favor of God? This is the, there are many of you having high blood pressure today. I'm, I'm not trying to insult you, forgive me. But it's true. If God does not show you favor, life is hard, unbearably hard. Where will the finances come from? Even if you have money, where will the access come from? Do you know what it means for gatekeepers to open their hearts over you? It has to be God. In one minute, I'd like you to pray, Father, may, may favor come upon my life may favor come upon my life difficult things become easy when the grace called favor is upon you Pratesa de Balandas Cate Brecate Paracos Cate Brende Gedi Balahaskia. Ye have not because ye ask not. 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 Now, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic office by the privilege of the election of grace and I stretch my hands first over you here in Abuja our family in Zaria those following from around the globe from America to Europe to Asia the Caribbeans as many as are following and will follow in the name of Jesus, the one who has shown us mercy, I decree and declare right now, receive ye this grace called favor. Receive ye this grace called favor. I place this mantle upon your life. Take this grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the morning, experience favor. In the afternoon, experience favor. In the night, experience favor. In Nigeria, experience favor. In America, experience favor. In Europe, experience favor. Every door that needs favor for, to be open. I declare may favor open that door now hear me every strategic relationship you have lost through carelessness and lack of discernment I call on my God who is also your God let there be a supernatural reconnection now Dishonor has shut that was once open and dishonor shut it by the mercy of the God of David. We reopen that door now. And in the name of Jesus, many of you are gifted, but the favor to announce you is not there. You are so gifted, gifted to a point that is institutions that should be patronizing your gift. In the name of Jesus, by the Paparakatos Katapakatabarukotobasiata, 
in the name of Jesus Christ I give your gift visibility now by this gift let those who have the capacity to both discern and reward you may they find you in the name of Jesus hear me in this new season of your life every relationship you need to connect with some of you may not know them international relationships ministerial relationships I declare may that connection happen for you now everyone anointed commissioned and ordained to find you and hold your hand in this season wherever they are I stand by the prophetic I call them into your life now hear me I stand under the corporate grace of the fathers of faith who have transferred these graces to us and under this corporate anointing I declare in the name of Jesus as a contribution of this supply to the body of Christ find the grace for favor by this grace shame reproach hear ye the word of the Lord let God's people go now hear me by this grace upon you whoever has forgotten you no matter how long in the name of Jesus by favor may the book of remembrance be opened over you now even Pharaoh who hated Israel with passion was the one who ended up giving them gold and everything they used to build the tabernacle in the wilderness can I tell you this when favor comes upon you it's not only friends that bless you anybody directed by God I pray for you whoever must bring forth their credibility their time their resources their endorsement to shift you to the next level I call them forth by prophecy now now I'm praying for the body of Christ but now let me pray for the koinonia global family you belong to a family that is mysteriously favored of God I pray for you in the name of Jesus out of the abundance by reason of this prophetic connection step into superior realms of favor by this favor may your life be a fearful wonder first to you and then to everyone around you in the name of Jesus Christ We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.